Hey travelers, welcome in. For those that are new to the channel, I'm Caitlin. It's nice to meet you. And for those that are returning, thank you for your support and for stopping by again. On the agenda today is Rune Factory 5. Being a fan of the RPG and simulation genres, I had this one on my wish list for a while now and was finally able to pick it up recently. So I'm super excited to get started. This will be a first playthrough, though in the interest of a full disclosure, I did take a sneak peek into the first day or two due to some technical difficulties with the first recording that I had. You can probably already tell from the title screen as well, but I hope they'll still count. Anyways, this is also my first entry into the Rune Factory series, so please bear with me as I learn the controls and different aspects of the game. I'm guessing that there will also be references from previous games that I'll miss as well, so forgive me if that's the case. On a slightly different note, I do have my cloak on today. It's not that it's really cold here, but this seems the cozy sort of game. So, I decided to snuggle in a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Alright, I digress. Let's get started with the game. The Kingdom of Norad, a forest along the border. Of course, it's a single person walking alone in the forest. I really do like the character design though. And of course, it seems like something's coming from the portal. Scream. It's a girl. I have to help her. Now's my chance to be a hero, or it's time to become a heroine. I'll choose that one. You're the right woman in the wrong place. Continue as female character. Yeah, let's do that. Face planted into the ground. <laughs> oh, it must have blacked out. What happened? I can't remember anything. Help me. Right, that girl's in trouble. The monster designs are interesting as well. I guess this one looks to be like a sheep. Wait right there, I'll protect you. Protect you with what though? First, I'll need to equip a weapon. I'll open the L pocket with the L button. Okay, let's do that. Then I can select my broadsword and press Y to equip it. Press Y. All set now. Now I just need to close in on the enemy and press the B button to attack. Even if I lose sight of them, I can always use the right stick to look around and figure out where they went. So it's still a bit weird getting used to hitting the B button for doing the attack instead of the A button. But I guess as we progress further, we'll get used to that. Alright, let's do this. Are you alright? Uh, I... Oh, more bugs. Or actually it's more monsters, with this time being a bug. And of course they hit me. Yes, let's swing your sword around some more. Two of them? I wonder which one I should focus on first. At times like this, I can press the right stick to lock onto an enemy, and can move the right stick to choose between different targets. I'll use the R button to dash out the way of the enemy attacks. Alright, so let's try that to lock on. Then... Attack. Try the dash. What does the dash do? Oh, of course I'm pressing the wrong button on the controller. That's alright. Alright, so these monsters are down now. Pretty easy so far. 
You're her? Trembling girl. And this is... Nothing. Either way, we need to get out of here. Come on. At least the little girl is okay. The sunset is pretty. Oh, there's another little girl by the gate. Today's the day. Every journey begins with a single step. Take the step. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Priscilla. We show up at the town's gate. Of course, it's when that little girl is trying to um, pick up the courage to leave the city, I guess. Oh, and she ran out of the gate. Of course, I end up on the bed. Weeping. Looks like something hurts there. Hey, she's awake. I'll go get my mom. My spirited man. Or Okuma, you scare Hina and Priscilla half to death. Sorry, Lucy. Heard my niece was carried in here. Your niece? Not me, is it? Uncle Kumo. Oh. That answer is it. That's the little kid's uncle. Ina, you okay, kiddo? I am now, thanks to my hero. You, how can I ever repay you? Huh? I feel like that's something I would react to as well, like that. Hey now, what are you doing to my patient? Oh mom, I was just coming to get you. Well, I'm here now. I'm this town's doctor, also its mayor. Call me Simone. Oh, she's working two jobs. So, how are you feeling? Experiencing any pain? Not really. Actually, I feel fine. No numbness either? Thank goodness. If you don't have any difficulty speaking, then I'd like to ask you a few questions. First off, what is your name and birthday? I get why you're asking for my name, but why do you need to know my birthday? Enter your name. Well, my name is definitely not Alice, so we'll change that. And we'll change that to Caitlin here. My slow typing speed. Enter your name, Caitlin. Yep. Oh, did I press? What did I press? Press OK. Okay, confirm. Does Caitlin sound good? Yes, it does. Enter your birthday. Alright, so we're in spring. So my birthday is September 20th. So I guess we'll go with autumn 20 here. That M threw me off a little bit. This means Monday, I guess. Pretty sure my name's Caitlin. My birthday is autumn 20, I think. And your hometown? Where are you from? Well, I, uh... But she doesn't remember. I'm sorry, I can't remember. 
You appear to be suffering from memory loss. You don't say. I'm afraid the symptoms point to a case of amnesia. That doesn't sound good. Afraid not. Amnesia is no joke. I've never met anyone with amnesia before. Isn't there anything we can do? Everyone's getting worked up over me. What to do? I should leave before I cause any more trouble. I feel like that's something I would do as well. I hate being troubles for other people. Thanks for your concern, but I'm okay, really. I'd better be on my way now. Let's go then. Don't be silly, why not stay at my family's place? Hey now, what are you saying? Hina's hero is crashing with me. Stop this nonsense. She's my patient, she'll be staying under my care. Everyone's fighting over where I should stay? You just want a chance to study the amnesiac. For her own safety, of course, and for science. Of course. I guess it's more of the latter. I'm not following, like, any of this. Okay. Don't be dense, isn't it obvious? They're arguing over who's gonna take you in. Could you people be any more gullible? You're inviting a total stranger into your homes. That is true. For all you know, she's a wolf in Wooly's clothing. <laughs> Little do they know, I'm wearing a, my cloak today. No way, Caitlin's a good person. Hmm. As much as I'm inclined to agree with Hina, my daughter does raise a valid concern. Oh, I know. Lucy? Be a dear and take Caitlin to the field captain's office. The soul sphere doesn't lie. One scan will tell you just what kind of person she is. That's kind of scary, not gonna lie. Imagine we had some technology like that in real life. Hey, why me? I'm the one who raised the red flag. Well, uh, I wouldn't mind taking you. Really? Sure, the field captain's office is on the first floor. Thank you. So it's just downstairs and the other girl didn't want to take me? Wait up, I'm coming too. But I thought you just said you didn't want to take me there. Camera controls. Move the camera with the right stick. You can also adjust the camera speed and invert the controls. Change the settings on the options page of the camp menu. Open the camp menu by pressing the plus button, saving the game. This game automatically saves your progress with the autosave feature. Whenever you want to save the game yourself, interact with a save point and open up the camp menu. Save the progress on the save load page. Whenever you save, a hint related to advancing the game story will pop up. Use that if you're feeling lost. I guess that would be pretty handy. Your mini-map shows the destination of the next story event. Okay, so the next story event is downstairs. Let's take a look at the room first, though. I think there's a calendar. Take a look at the calendar here. Okay, it's Monday, the second. No, no events or anything, I guess. And then we have the wardrobe see what's there is my wardrobe you can break it <laughs> let's not do that right now um look inside oh there's nothing in the wardrobe all right let's leave that alone for now hey wait where are you going the field captain's office is this way okay I guess I can't really explore. Well, let's go talk to Lucy then. The field captain's office is down the stairs and to your right. 
Come on now. No dawdling. Well, why don't you go downstairs then? Oh, up to her too? The field captain's office is right through that door. There's two doors here. I guess she's facing this way. Um, so let's go in. And the captain's sleeping. Sleeping on the job. Captain Livia. Excuse me, Captain Livia? Hmm? Oh, if it isn't Priscilla, something to report? We've come to register Caitlyn with the Soul Sphere. Caitlyn? Ah, this one. So she's finally awake. So how long was I been sleeping? This child is the field captain? <laughs> yep. She runs the silo, Seeds Rigbarth Outpost. Who's Rigbarth? What's a seed? Really? Seems like... I don't catch on very quickly. And you at least try to keep up? This town is called Rigbarth. It's kept safe from monsters by Seed, an organization dedicated to protecting people. And the building you're standing in is Rigbarth Outpost, which is also known as the Silo. The clothes you were wearing were all torn up, so we took the liberty of lending you a Seed uniform. That's kind of sus. Um, but I guess I appreciate having a uniform. Got it? Got it. Thanks for filling me in. No need to thank me. So, where did you come from? What brings you to our peculiar little slice of the frontier? Honestly, I can't remember. And that means it- what, exactly? She supposedly has amnesia. Supposedly. I like how Lucy doesn't trust me. I guess that's, um... That's why we'd like you to run a soul sphere check. Understandable, that was the word I was looking for. Anyways, let's see. Hmm, I see. It's just a really bright ball floating in the center. In that case, hold out your hand toward the crystal. Oh, it's a crystal. All right, let's go up and... This thing? You wave it in front of it. Looks like it has some sort of sleepy effect. Whoa, what's happening? These runes are nearly out of control. That can only mean one thing. Enough, get away. What's the one thing? Um, right. That was a surprise. Who or what are you? That's what I'd like to know. What gives, field captain? That was not a normal reading. Normally, the soul sphere only gives off a faint glow, right? Ma'am? Hmm? Yes, right. At least you two. This one's no threat. So if it never happened before, how do you know I'm no threat? In fact, no, never mind. The important thing is that nothing suspicious came up on the soul sphere. Caitlin's squeaky clean. If that was nothing suspicious, then what is what happens if someone was suspicious? Seems like she's hiding something though. Thank goodness. Yep, I feel relieved. Not gonna lie, I was way out of my depth there. Here, for starters, what's a soul sphere? The soul sphere is, uh, you know, what is it? I like how they don't know what 
It is either just some magical object. My mom told me it quantifies the inner light of a living spirit, whatever that means. Offer your hand to it, and it will reveal a lot about who you are. Right, Captain Livia? I feel like they're it reiterating the same thing over and over again. All right. Yeah, that about sums it up. More importantly, Caitlin, if you don't have anywhere else to go, then I have some work for you. Our only active ranger is away at seed headquarters, so we're a little understaffed. Ooh, so they use ranger as their name or term for their occupation. Kind of fits my character, I guess. That's putting it lightly. They're so short-handed. We've had to work overtime and we're just volunteers. Interested? The job comes with free room and board. I don't know. Fending off a monster or two is one thing, but protecting a whole town? That's a lot. That is true. Oh, someone barges in. Yo, Captain. What is it, Cecil? There's a mystery afoot. Captain Livia? Ren and Yuki's spectacles have been spirited away. <laughs> she lost her glasses again? No, ma'am. They vanished into thin air. It's a serious incident. I guess there's some monsters took it? Inside the town? Okay, okay, this one's all yours, Lucy. Me again. Come on, Lucy, hurry. We need to investigate the scene before it's compromised. Of all the lousy... That sounds serious. Strange things always happen when Soul Boy Detective is around. That's what qualifies for a mystery out in the sticks. Or just a sleepy hamlet where nothing happens. As soon as your memory returns, you can pack up and go. But for now, we need all the help we can get. So if it's sleepy, do you really need so many? Anyways, when you put it that way... Alright, sign me up. I thought you were kind of reluctant. Excellent. Welcome to the team. Now then, let's put you to work. Priscilla, take our new recruit out back for some field training. By field, do you mean... Agricultural. Seed is a self-sufficient organization. You'll just start in the field. After that, the only thing limiting what you can do is my imagination. Your imagination, huh? Aha, uh -huh, okay then. Well, shall we? Let's go. This is the field. I'm going to explain how farming works now, okay? Yes, please. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't know what I was going to do if you didn't want to listen. <laughs> She's really going out of her way to help me. Great. Well, the best way to learn something is to get some hands-on experience. That is true. So, could you start by tilling this field for me? I mean, I'd like to say yes, but this place seems like it's in pretty bad shape. Yes, a field that has rocks and tree stumps all over it. To tell the truth, nobody's worked this field for ages. Why not? So, let's clean it up first. Could you please use the A button to pick up all the weeds and branches, then you can stick them in the shipping bin over there. So the A button's for farming? I guess... Why not? Wheat. Alright, shipping bin, here we go. Can I pick up more than one at a time? it in. More weeds. Actually, that's not a weed, that's a branch. Picked up the wrong thing, I guess. Okay. 
Actually, I don't even know if that's a weed. That looked more like a plant. Okay. Rock. Guess I'll put that away. And another branch. One more here. I think this side is all clean now. Wait, they have names. Medicinal herb. Maybe I should leave that where it is. Rock. Of course I keep running into. Oh, come on. Put it in the bin. Contents are collected at 8. Estimated earnings 80. Old. No, I don't want to look inside. I know what I put in there. Put the rock in. Come on. Okay. There's another rock here. Withered grass. There's so many branches. Well, at least we got half of it done. Let's see what, what else is left. Stop running into the tree branch. Uh, tree trunk. Wait, no, that's a tree stump. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Put that in. So I guess this is like our only way to make money at the moment. Is to put up, clean up all of the these unwanted things. But that's pretty interesting. You can make money that way. Let's see how much money is there. 169. Cool. I think that's it. Okay. Talk to you. Alright, you did a good job. By the way, if you hold down the A button, then you'll only pick up items of the same type. You could have told me that earlier. What's the use of telling me now? Well, I guess it's useful. Anyways. Oh, and if you lock onto the shipping bin while holding something, then you can throw stuff from a distance. Give it a shot sometimes. Great. Moving on. Please take this. Try tilling the soil in one of the spots you cleared. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me for help. Tell me when you've tilled the soil. Alright, so she gave me that... Oh, I guess weapons. Oh, there's a section for farm tools here. And we select this hoe, whip it, and oh wait, it's press B. I keep pressing A. Um, I guess for like weapons and farm tools. Oh, I missed. For weapons and farm tools, it's B to swing. An A to pick up things. Do we have to till all of this? Oh. Okay, my aim is pretty bad, but, um, I guess it, it kind of as a auto lock somehow. Right, um, I got half of them. Alright, let's see if that's enough first for now. Wonderful, you made that look easy. If you use a better quality hoe, then you can till several squares at once. I'll teach you how to use these next. Are you gonna give me a better one? Oh no, Dimitri met the turnip seeds. Sell these seeds wherever you till the soil. And where are the seeds? I guess they're back in my L pocket. Turn up seed. I need to equip it. Alright. The control's definitely going to take some getting used to. So she gave me nine of them. So I guess we can fill up two big squares.
I guess we have one last one. Let's just put it here. All right. Planted all the turnip seeds. Yes, very nice. If you hold down the B button, you can sow multiple seeds across a wide area. I like how she always tells you after you finish doing something. Okay, let's move on to the last thing. You received a cheap water pot. Go ahead and water your seeds with this. Okay, let's get the watering can. Recipe? Wait, the graphics didn't change. Oh, wait, there's a well here. Or some, I don't know if that's a well or not. Pond. That makes a little bit more sense. Alright. Do some watering. So if I hold multiple, will you water multiple? It's not. Alright, let's just water all of these I planted here. Oh. Oh, if you till the soil, it doesn't do any- if you didn't till it, it, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Well done. Perfect, you're a natural at this. The field dries out overnight, so make sure you water the seeds you planted every morning. Oh, but not on raining days. I know they may seem dreary, but they're not all bad because you don't need to water your field when it rains. Isn't that a little obvious? And that's pretty much everything you need to know about farming. Just keep tilling the soil, sowing the seeds, and watering whatever you plant. Then you'll be harvesting your own crops in no time. You can eat whatever you grow as is, or you can cook something with them. I bet everyone in town would appreciate receiving something you've grown as a present. And of course, you can always leave your crops in the shipping bin to sell them for a profit. Someone will come by every day at 8 a.m. to collect what's inside, so make sure you've put everything you want to sell in there before then. I hope that all made sense. Well, good work today. Oh yeah, one more thing. I received more turnip seeds. Oh, that's a lot. Are you sure I can have these? Please, I insist. Think of it as a thank you present for cleaning up the field. I'm looking forward to seeing what you grow here. Uh, I'll try to live up to your expectations. I suppose. I think you'll do just fine, Caitlin. Not many people could do all this work as easily as you did, especially not on their first try. Yes, I'm special. There's a good reason why Captain Livia made you a ranger. You're just like one of those, uh, what are they called? Earth maids? Earth maids? What is that? You know, Caitlin, maybe it's not just farming you're good at. I get the feeling that you're the kind of person who makes the whole world a green, vibrant place. I kind of doubt that. Oh, come on now, you're exaggerating. But wouldn't it be nice if it were true? When I was little, I read a story about earth maids who rode dragons through the skies. They would tend the earth and bring it to life, filling the world with runes. I've always loved reading about them. Um, runes? Oh, I'm sorry. Runes are, um, they're sort of like your stamina or maybe your life force. Basically, you work yourself too hard and use up all your runes, you'll collapse from exhaustion, so be, be careful, okay? Oh, so runes are your life force? Uh, are you okay? I'm sorry for pushing you so hard, let's call it a day. You can switch between weapons and farm tools without opening the L pocket. You can use the left button for your tools and right buttons for your weapon. The field captain said you could use this room. So it's yours now, Caitlin. Uh, wait, isn't this the silo? That's a pretty big room. But I guess there's not much privacy, no doors. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. But this is the second floor room has always been empty. And Captain Livia said that rangers should live here. 
she did. Well, at least safety won't be a problem, right? Captain Olivia lives just downstairs after all. Also, people come by the silo all the time. If you ever need any help, I'm sure someone would be happy to lend you a hand. Alright, just as long as they don't come up to the second floor. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way around? Don't worry about it. Everyone around here is always eager to help each other out. Then maybe I'll ask them for a favor or two. Go for it. That being said, right now you, your room only has a big calendar and projector. Alright. Guess that's only... You can use the calendar to check the date and see whether a festival or anything is coming up soon. The projector lets you view any cutscenes you've seen. Last up is your bed. After you go to sleep, you'll wake up at 6 a.m. the next day with your HP and RP restored. Wouldn't be me. 6 a.m. is too early. If you don't sleep enough, you'll become fatigued and you're also more likely to catch a cold. So make sure you always get a good night's sleep. So there's a sickness mechanic, or at least having a cold. Wonder what that's like. Anyways, in short, if you feel tired, go to bed. Um, that about does it. Great work today, rest up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you do so much work. Um, why don't you rest a while in that bed? Alright then. Call it a day. Good night. Wake up, Caitlin. It's already morning. Well, that's pretty fast. Oh, you're awake. Morning. Big, nice stretch. Good morning, Priscilla. And you too, Lucy. Morning. Pretty cold. I wonder if she still distrusts me. I would bet on it, I guess. Oh yeah, did you solve the case of the missing glasses? Naturally. Glad to hear it. Cecil must feel relieved. Relieved? I didn't chew him out for wasting my time. Yuki's glasses were sitting right on her head. Feel like that's something I would do as well. They say it's always the last place you look. Priscilla? Sorry, I was trying to hold back a yawn. Hope she's getting enough sleep. Yes, or you'll get a cold, apparently. Why fight it? If you gotta yawn, just yawn. Going the inside of my mouth to the whole world is just too embarrassing. Well, I suppose I never thought of it that way. Okay, whatever you say. Let's just pass along our message already, then maybe you should go back to bed. You have a message for me? The field captain's orders. She wants you to introduce yourself to everyone in town. Oh wow, your first official seed mission. I wouldn't really call that a mission, but okay. Good luck, and break a leg. Bye. Press the minus button to bring up the map of the area. Use the map while in town to see everyone's current location. Hover the cursor over the building to see who's inside. The warp menu. When on the map screen, you can choose to warp to places you've already visited. That's pretty cool. We can teleport. And press the Y button to bring up a list of locations. Alright. 
Oh, wait. We have 169 gold now. Just what time is it? I guess it's past 8 then. So we've been talking here for two hours. Um, anyways. I think this is a good place to stop. Well, thank you for joining me today. Hope you liked the intro and I guess the first day of Rune Factory 5. Bye.